Uh, today we're gonna do uh, a test. We're gonna measure the color of the, of the water. And uh, water is measured in PCU, platinum cobalt units. Um, and a lake, uh, a clear water lake, uh, with especially clear water is uh, about 10 PCU or less uh, and uh, that's what we're gonna target here and uh, I've been looking at my tank and uh, even if there is some rain uh, that changed the water and so I I find it a little bit yellowish. Uh, I had an incident uh, with a valve coming loose and it started to uh, oscillate uh, some uh, uh, soil uh, and yeah, made a little mess. So maybe I need to do a water change by hand or maybe I need to change the active carbon or maybe some Sechem uh, Peridian, time to change that. So, but anyways, uh, most of the lakes in Sweden, uh, they are between 20 and, uh, and uh, 600 uh, PCU. And uh, yeah, uh, let's hope that we are not in the top rating there. <laughs> Uh, so what you actually do is that what I'm going to use is a HANA checker, uh, this little bugger, uh, I don't know if you see the text, uh, it gives you the reading in PCU and it measures color of water and uh, I've already prepared some samples. Uh, it's kind of tricky to, to uh, see the color of the water because the light is going to uh, mess with the color of the water uh, but the light shines on like uh, if there is a lot of green in the tank like the plants and uh, the rock and uh, algae of course uh, it's gonna mess with the, with the, with the color uh, what, what the color that you see in the water. So uh, I prepared a little bit. This is RO water. That's what we're gonna calibrate our uh, little Hanna checker with. You do it every time you do a test. And uh, this is some sample water from the tank. And uh, the sample water I took out in this. And I put in a filter paper. looky looky uh, and I poured in the water from the tank through the filter paper the filter paper doesn't take up any color but it takes out particles and the particles are going to mess with the test so we don't want them uh, so uh, yeah let's go ahead and make a test first we put in the oral water and uh, add uh, C1, that's uh, our uh, calibration. And uh, it's gonna take some time. No, it goes fast. And let's go ahead, whoop. Let's go ahead and put our sample from the tank that I previously prepared. And let's see. So we have uh, 15. Ah, it's not so bad. And uh, yeah, now uh, I have to mention as well. If you have uh, these uh, vials in an environment where uh, it's raining <laughs> or uh, you should never touch them with your fingers or so because that's gonna mess with your test. There's a small LED light 
in this that shines through the test and it measures the color. Uh, and if the if the glass is messed up, uh, the test is not going to be good. So yeah, that's pretty much sums it up for today. Uh, what I'm going to do is yeah maybe a. a Ah, not a water to change, uh, but uh, I'm going to change uh, the active carbon. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.